startuprad.io, your podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello and welcome, everybody. This is Joe from startuprad.io, your startup podcast, YouTube blog, and internet radio station covering the German, Swiss, and Austrian startup scene in English. Live and right here from Frankfurt. As always, I have my co-founder and co-host Chris here with me. Hey, Chris, how is New York today? <laughs> hey, uh, New York is great. But before we start, I have to apologize for the situation behind me because this fell down like 10 minutes before we started. <laughs> it looks really problematic. It looks sketchy. Um, so the um, my print of a Picasso building. It's a uh, building, uh, a Picasso painting fell down. It's about leadership. And today the leadership is off the charts, as I say. But I'm doing fine. That is good. Um, for everybody who's just listening to it, Chris was pointing to the background in his apartment in New York. Uh, for everybody who could not guess it, welcome to our September 2023 wrap up of all the vital news in the startup scenes in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland in 30 minutes or less. At least that's the goal. We wrap up for you September 2023. There have been a lot of sad news like insolvency, final closures, and so on, but also a lot of good news, expansions, fundings, that we just had to make a selection in order not to bore you to death and talk for like two hours. Actually, I was kicking out, I do believe, more than 50% when I came up with the news. So if you missed something, let us know. Most likely, we just had to cut it out. Um, the recording was done on September 26th, as was it. Chris, live from Manhattan, and me, live from Frankfurt. Let's go a little bit into our highlights here, right? Uh, we tracked close to 500 million euros in newly announced investments in GSA. We have the first defense tech unicorn in Berlin and a lot of great news for green tech startups in Germany. Some prop techs are not doing well, but not all startups associated with the construction are performing poorly, shown by the fundraising from Should Fix. Long distance trucking gets more autonomous with Fanride and some bad news. Deutsche Bank uses Swiss DLT startup Taurus Technology, and we learn more about JP Morgan's retail offering in Germany to be starting 2024 or 2025. Unicorn Flix already hired banks for their IPO, expected in the first half of 2024. And we keep you up to date with the bank holidays and the business culture here in Germany for the next weeks, let's say until early November. Uh, this podcast will go live on Thursday, September 28th. And of course, you can find all links to subscribe to us on our link tree. Let's talk a tiny bit about our enablers. This recording is supported by Hessen Trade and Invest and the Enterprise Europe Network Hessen. The recording was made possible by HDAI and the Enterprise Europe Network Hessen. These organizations have made tremendous contribution to helping startup businesses succeed and thrive, providing a range of services from helping to find grants to ongoing partnerships by taking advantage of these resources, startups Startup companies can network and develop innovative strategies for success on the international stage. The dedicated support of HTI and E and Hessen is paramount in providing startup businesses with the tools for lasting success. Look for our dedicated sub podcast in partnership with them, Tech Startups Germany on our link tree as well as startuprave.com, the best way to identify investors and corporation partners for early stage startups. Sign up for early access at startuprave.com. Chris, to me, you always looked like a top news guy, right? That is me. Um, yeah, and the first top news we're looking at today is about an industry that we are not looking very often into. It is actually a defense tech. There is um, the Berlin-based defense tech startup Helsing. They raised 209 Euro, million Euro in a Series B funding. Um, and they are not necessarily producing actual like weapons or um airplanes or jets, etc. But they are in the field of AI. They have a software only approach. 
And um, that new funding makes them Europe's first defense unicorn. So Tech EU writes, the round is led by General Catalyst. Swedish group Saab is joining the round as a strategic investor, deepening an existing partnership. And the founding round, funding round follows a previous Series A of 102.5 million euro, led by Prima Materia, an investment company founded by Daniel Ek, co founder and CEO of Spotify. They themselves say we develop AI based capabilities to protect our democracies. We have news about Fernreit, um, an autonomous driving startup from Munich that extends its Series A funding to 50 million US dollars. Investors include a DTCF, Germany's Deep Tech and Climate Fund, Munich Re Ventures, Bayern Capital, and Klaus Kleinfeld of, I think, SAP fame. Am I right? Maybe. I uh, will need to have it to look it up. Okay. Uh, the company wants to become an end to end solution provider for autonomous electric trucking, keeping humans as teleoperators in the loop, meaning the trucks will maneuver, meaning the trucks will maneuver autonomously, but if the AI recognizes a problem, a human driver from Fernride will take over. Um, by the way, that is something we discussed that is possible with the new law in Germany quite, I do believe, almost one and a half, two years ago, that was in the discussion and we already made a special episode about it. And I just remembered when I read his uh, Wikipedia article, Klaus Kleinfeld used to be the CEO of Siemens. Ah, Siemens. Yeah. Okay. So this is why he like, it somehow rang a bell. Um, another industry we are not often looking into is construction. And there is shit fix. Um, a construction startup that raises or raised 45 million euros to break even. Um, it's a, um, an online portal enabling construction companies to order materials like sand or gravel. And, um, the whole industry in Germany is in a really complex situation right now because housing construction in the first um, half of 2023 was down 30%, even though the government has pretty ambitious goals to build new housing. Housing is too expensive in cities. And so, um, just, just yesterday, there was even a, a high level meeting with Chancellor Olaf Scholz about how to improve the, um, yeah, how to improve the situation within the industry in order to allow for more, um, construction being built and to have leaner processes of allowing the construction being built. Um, but also it's an industry with huge problems in terms of uh, finding enough people to work in it. So um, they really have to um, fight a lot of complex or they really have to solve a lot of complex problems. On the other hand, though, we have lots of good news for green tech startups. Just one example is Berlin-based climate tech startup Plan A. They raised 25 million euros from investors, including Silicon Valley-based Lightspeed. And uh, Plan A is a green tech company that develops a carbon quantification platform to measure, monitor, and reduce environmental footprints. Uh, investors in this round include clients Visa, Deutsche Bank, and BNB Paribas. New as investors are the founders of Volt and Zalando. Deutsche Bank starts to offer crypto services with the startup. Um, it's a startup from Switzerland called Taurus. The startup will help Deutsche Bank with the introduction of digital asset and DLT based products and services in some of their accounting centers. In February of 23, Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank invested already in, uh, in the startup in a 65 million US dollars venture capital funding round, funding round. Deutsche Bank does not recommend cryptocurrencies, but tokenized or digital assets. At the time of the investment, Deutsche already announced their intention to use Taurus as IT for their services. Neither bank disclosed what kind of digital assets, assets they want to offer the clients. JP Morgan is getting ready for a challenge. Um, they already have 50 employees in Germany, in Berlin for their online bank Chase working on their launch, according to um, German newspaper FAZ. The online offer for retail clients will start in 24 or 25, a second country in Europe after the UK. 
And interestingly enough, they are still investing despite competitors like Goldman and City closing or downsizing their retail client businesses. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how that strategy plays out. And the unicorn Flix, which might be known to some of you also as the new owner of the pretty famous Greyhound buses in the US, is looking for an IPO. They have reportedly hired JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and BNP. Of course, you can learn more about the company in our interview that we had last year with one of the founders of the unicorn. According to Handelsblatt, they want to get listed in the first half of 24 with a potential valuation of 4 billion euros, 4.25 billion US dollars. And uh, 2022, Flix showed a positive um, EBITDA and increased revenue by 185% to approximately 1.5 billion euros. They are looking for um, a growth of around 20% top line growth for this year, writes Handelsblatt. Time to brag. Time to brag. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, we've been recommended as one of the 10 podcasts entrepreneurs should listen to by EU startups mid of September. Thank you very much. And business culture in Germany for, for our little business and culture diversion here. Keep in mind that Germany celebrates Unity Day on October 3rd. So, businesses will be closed like all retail stores except maybe for airports and railway stations since it's a tuesday many will take off monday as well if you do business or travel to germany keep that in mind the holiday is observed in all states of germany and some states also have um state holidays on either october 31st or uh, november 1st also, we now have a YouTube live stream of our radio station. You find it on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash startup radio. Keeping up with our guests, some good news for HR tech startup Kenjo, which raised 8.8 .8 million venture capital. Of course, you can learn more about the founder and the idea behind it in our interview with them. And as a startup rate that I owe, Listener, you get access for free to a great event, the Crypto Asset Conference, um, organized by our former guest, Professor Philip Sandner. You can find here in the show notes, um, medium.com forward slash startup rate minus IO or dash IO. Um, you can find the codes for 100% discount for online participation or 25% discount for on site participation in Frankfurt, it will take place middle of October. <sighs> I talked a lot. Chris, you want to take over the ecosystem? Yeah, ecosystem. So this is where we go big picture and really look at what is going on in the startup scene in general. We have one bit of information regarding the whole world um, where uh, the global startup funding remains subdued, but IPO market sparks hope of rebound um an article that we found on crunchbase that just gives you a general idea of the world um and if we then move on to germany switzerland and austria there's a couple of interesting uh, overall industry news germany implemented 45 percent of its startup strategy measures says um the um ministry that is responsible for this and i forgot which one it was i think it's it's um like um economics i do believe economics business however you want to call it um wirtschaftsministerium yeah we also have an interview with the digital commissioner that we prepared ourselves then uh German startup founders are increasingly increasingly bootstrapping due to the currently not favorable funding environment for startups. Um, that's an article that we found on in Handelsblatt, German business and economics magazine or newspaper. Germany will subsidize solar charging stations for electric cars with up to 500 million euros starting September 26. And why and how Germany bans B2B paper invoices. A little bit of information um, there that you can also find in the show notes. Moving on from the big picture to specific cities, regions, hubs, your part. 
as always we want to highlight some hidden gems here and this time we found places where even chris and i had for in some cases to look up where they are congratulations in frankfurt Rhine mind for the ad tech startup ad metrics um they got an undisclosed seed funding this brings a total investment track by Rhine mind vc a project i do on the side to 31 deals and more than 180 million euros for 2023 already. In Cologne, KYP AI secures 70.5 million to boost Gen AI feature and global expansion. And Ilmenau in Thüringen, Better Space, an Ilmenau Germany based provider of software and hardware solution, raises seven, seven figure investment from round two capital. They write, Better Space is a provider of smart software solutions for the hotel industry in the areas of digital guest communications, better guests, and intelligent energy management, better energy. There's also Jena in Thüringen. Um, there is a company called Room AG with three O, so it should be Room AG. Uh, they raised close to 17 million euros venture capital um, funding for the 3D software. The customers already include companies like Deutsche Telekom, BMW, Zeiss, Porter, and Bosch. Chris, you want to say something? Oh, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Mit Weida in Saxony. There's a startup called Corpus that takes on for the first time external investors for the software enabling tokenization, uh, tokenized investments in companies. So to say tokenized shares in Essen, stage one plans to raise 8 million euros from offering the shares in October after listing via a SPAC deal. By the way, they did already the SPAC deal. So they are planning to increase the capital and offer new shares. Chris, we get so much south that it's already called Austria. You want to take over here the news? Yes, a couple of news about Austrian companies. For example, Trip Makery, uh, Vienna um, based group travel booking platform provider, raised a seven figure funding round. Congratulations. Salzburg based legal tech Spruve raises three million in venture capital. Vienna based startup Limewire buys mid journey competitor Blue Willow to add to their AI content creator studio. And Storebox, a Vienna-based logis logistics scale-up, raises 15.5 million euros. Neighboring Austria is Switzerland, where the ETH green tech startup Vibo, Vibo, V I B O O, Vibu, <laughs> raises 1.5 million Swiss francs in venture capital. The Zurich-based in Instimatch Global AG raised 11.5 million Swiss francs for their offer of a web-based cash management trading platform for institutions across industries and geographies. Then the blockchain startup Swisstronic secures $5 million and they launched a private token sale. And now moving on to even more general news, tech news, specific industry news, company news, all you. Or me. Let's start a little bit with the fintech news. Some prop techs are currently not doing well. Prop tech startup Home Day is in crisis and bought by Axel Springer, which access 20% of the headcount. Berlin based crypto startup Bitwala is trying a comeback after insolvency with our original CEO. We do have an interview if you look into our back catalog. So Laris Bank generates first profit in the first half of 2023 and CPO, the chief product officer of N26 is leaving marking the fifth recent, uh, high ranking departure in recent month. Then we do have a new section called Green Tech News. Green Tech Unicorn and Pal invest in startup Thion, T H E I O N, which produces batteries based on sulfur. Green Tech Unicorn 1,5 Grad is looking for an IPO in 2025. And Shell is putting up solar and energy storage startup Sonnen for, uh, for sale after just Four years, and we've talked about them in the past quite a lot about Sun and right, Chris? Yes, you want to take over a little bit more general news? 
Yes, general news. So um, the device as a service startup fleet expands to Germany. Uh, Kleinanzeigen, which was formerly known as part of eBay, and Mobile.de, one of Germany's leading vehicle platforms, are up for sale. Again, investors are lining up, even though I think Kleinanzeigen was be like, did make the rounds already quite quite a bit. But yeah, um, I think I mean they might still have pretty huge competition with uh, Facebook ads or Facebook listings. But yeah. But still, I'm pretty sure there must be a need for regional, local listings, like a, because Germany does not have um, Craigslist. Um, Berlin-based Bubble acquires the U.S.-based Tucan T O U can to further expand its learning ecosystem with browser extension, and fast delivery startup Joker. Uh, founded by tech veteran Ralf Wenzel, is only active in Brazil and loses with the most recent investments. It's unicorn startups. It, sorry, it's unicorn status. Um, we've talked a lot about the problematic or the challenging market for fast delivery startups. And then um, there is Schumpeter's Schöpferische Zerstörung, creative destruction, meaning... Um, Sometimes if things falter, they make room for something new. Uh, going back to Schumpeter, one of the most influential economists of the 20th century and um, also an entrepreneur. You can more learn more about him on Wikipedia under Joseph Schumpeter. Um, we introduced this section towards the end of COVID and it's still going strong. Um, for example, but news today like Bielefeld-based crypto startup Coindex They ceased operations after filing for insolvency and negotiations with Binance fell through. Vienna-based workflow startup Ataleo starts restructuring. Graz, Austria-based HR tech startup Talto has to file for insolvency. Austria-based AG tech startup Pixel Farm has to file for insolvency since their strategic investors UPL from India changed their strategy. They're under pressure from competition. They started a 100 million cost-cutting program. And Berlin-based startup behind car, the Berlin-based startup behind the car sharing service Clever Shuttle will disappear. Uh, can the company cannot be rescued from insolvency? A lot of heavy news, but let's end on a high note. And that's your part. Yeah, some fi fundraising news. Forty-five million Swiss franc investment for H55 half and 50 next level the valleys based startup has raised substantial financing from a group of distinguished strategic and financial investors further consolidation is leading positioning as a major provider of certified electronic propulsion aviation technology so they're trying to get aviation on electro the financing will support h55 path to type certification by 2024 and accelerate growth they write power us gets 24 million years investment for the platform that enables users to find craftsmen Wise N26 investor backs Germany's IV in an 80 million euro round for its IPE for instant bank payments. Gen2 Zurich Switzerland based provider of B2B fintech platforms specialized in securitizations of bankable and non-bankable assets raised 50 million US dollars in a series A funding. Then we do have a little big stay ahead of the curve. Um, Compensation decoded, tech leader salaries at early stage startups, a European, a German perspective, and HBR, Harvard Business Review, what the finance industry can tell us about the future of AI. They write, what will artificial intelligence do to industries and jobs? For a brief view, look at the finance industry, which has been incorporating data and algorithms for a long time, which is always a canary in the coal mine for new technology. The experience of finance suggests that AI will transform some industries, sometimes very quickly, and that it will especially benefit larger players, but it may not leave the overall system better off. Chris, we will be back shortly before Halloween on 26th of October, so exactly a month from now. Looking forward to talking to you again. And by the way, we didn't hear the sirens in the sound you submitted to us, but I heard it in the background. So you're off the bagel today. Well done. What can you do? 
<laughs> so uh yeah have a nice day everyone and um good luck on all of your endeavors <laughs> from new york bye bye be back pretty soon bye guys that's all folks find more news streams events and interviews at www.startuprad.io remember sharing is caring Thank you.